Here's some transitioning background colors and ellipse colors. And here's another example of that. This one's a little simpler. So I'm exercising some control over which colors arrive, but really it's mostly just the starting colors that I'm controlling. So first start with a draw loop and inside it put a background, then fill a different color and make any shape you want to. And the next thing we'll do is we're going to replace those colors with an RGB value for both. Just like this. And I'll make one of those different just so that we can see it to start. Okay. Then what we're going to do is because our colors are now made up of red, green, and blue in a value from 0 to 255, which is what an RGB value is, uh, we're going to use variables to increment these. So I'm going to make a variable for each one, and I'm going to call them R, G, and B. And I'll make those above the draw loop. And I'll set each one to 0 to start. Alright, and now for the other, uh, I'm also going to set these to a different variable. So I'll make these R2, G2, and B2. And I'll make three more variables, and just so they stick out I'll set these to 255, but you can set them to whatever you wanted to. All right. Now the next step is we want to increment each one of those. And uh, I'll do one of those in box and then I'll fast forward ahead. So inside of the draw loop, I'm going to increment uh, just the first red value. So R equals R plus 1, like that. And as you can see, now the red value of this background is slowly increasing until it's going to be totally red. So we're going to follow that same pattern again. Here, I'll just copy this and paste it a few times. Do the same thing with G, but I don't want them to increment at the exact same speed. Well, let's just watch what happens. It gets kind of grayish, right, if, if they all increment at exactly the same speed. So what I'm going to do is I'll set one of them to 2 and one of them to 3. You can experiment with the numbers all you like. And now we're going to get more blues because the B is increasing faster. If you want to get more greens, you could make this one increase faster, however you'd like. And then I'm going to take these and I'm going to do the same thing with my R2, G2, and B2, but I'm going to do them in the other direction. So I guess I should have done it this way. I'm going to say R2 equals R2 minus 1. So it's going to decrease in value. And while that's transitioning, now I'm messing with the inside circle. I'll copy and paste that. Paste it again so that I can mess with the... Um, G2, G2, B2, B2. And again, I want to choose different speeds for them to increment like that. So that's starting to look pretty cool. And then the only other thing to do is if you want it to continue looping through the colors, then you need to set some control for that. So we can do one if for the increasing, and we can do another if for the decreasing down here. I should put that below. Let's do it like that. Okay, so I can say if r is greater than 255, which would be the maximum, then set it back to 0. Alright, so let's see what that looks like. Just with that, what did I do wrong? Oh, I have this other empty if. Well, let's go ahead and do that one then. I'm going to say if R2 gets less than 0, because it's going in the other direction, then we need to set R back to 255. So this alone should be enough to transition them back to not the original color, but a different color. Maybe not. I thought they would flip back through. Let's see what R2 is at. See, it's still decreasing. Oh, look. I need to put a 2 right there. All right, now let's try it. So I'm watching this number to get to zero, and then it should transition back. Yeah, and it will actually transition back to a different color than what it originally was, because the other two values haven't flipped. All right, let's copy this if and paste it two times so that we can handle G and B. And 
And because their speeds are different, you should get different colors every time. And we'll copy and paste this one twice for the B2 and G2. And I think we're done. Get some nice purples there and reds coming through. And then the last thing I want to show you is the other example project that I had, this guy. It's the exact same thing. The only difference is I've got uh, circles on top of each other and they're all looping at different values. So that code gets a little bit messier, but it's the same thing. And I'll show you. I've got uh, three RGBs here and then I've got a, a two. The only other thing I added was I wanted some of them to change faster than others, so I've got a speed variable. And I have some transparencies working on up here with this alpha. May not have even used that. Uh, but there's the code in case you wanted to see it. It's got the same reset on the ifs, and I'm messing with a little bit of transparency. Same trick, different style.